Welcome to a new video from Circuit Coder. So, in this video, I will show you how to save programs on your Lego Mindstorms hub. Okay, so first I'm going to turn off my hub so that you can see that I'm not coding anything. And I'm also going to turn off my device. See? No code. Now, what you have got to do is that, well, I mean like normal, you first turn off on your hub and you open your app. Okay, and once you open it, well, you code everything you're going to code. In this case, I just made a simple welcome to my channel program so that I can show you. Okay, I also made a memory game, so later in another video, I'm going to show you how to make that memory game. Okay, so what I'm going to do is that, well, of course, you connect to your hub. Let's wait for it to connect. Okay. And then, oh. And then you connect to your hub, okay? So now, once you have your code, uh, there are two modes for your program to run. There's the download and the streaming. Okay, we're not going to use the streaming now. In a later video, I'm going to show the difference between download and streaming, okay? Right now, we're going to use the load. Okay, so here you can see the image of a hub with a lot of numbers, see? All these numbers go up from 0 to 19. See? 19. I'm going to go back to zero. So, what you have got to do is that you select the program you want, the number of the program you want to say, save. I mean, the slot you want to use. For example, here, for this welcome program, I'm going to use slot zero. So, what you do is that you click here on download. See? Wait, let's wait for it to load. Okay, it shouldn't take more than a few seconds. Okay, so now it has downloaded from the device to the hub, okay? Now what we're going to do is that, well, for example, if you want to access that program, let me disconnect, okay? See, if you want to access the program, what you do is that you go to a slot that you want, okay? So for example, here, it returns me to the play because I only have one program, okay? It's this zero. I deleted all of my program, all of my programs, okay? So what you do is that to play the program, you simply click here, and the program will play. In case you were you were wondering, this is the same program that was on right here a moment ago, the one that was on the beginning of the video, okay? So you can save up more than a program. I mean, for example, I'm going to open up this memory game, okay? This memory game I did, I'm going to show it later, okay? So now, I want, I'm going to go again to unload, but if I put zero, it's going to delete the program that was already there, and then I want to have the welcome program. So what I'm going to do, that I'm going to select slot one. Okay, I'm going to download it now. Done. And now, see, there's now one program. It's the place zero and one. Okay, I'm going to go back to program one. So, for example, here, I'm going to play it. And see, it's the program. 
So really, you can save it and I don't know, if I want to go back to my welcome, I go back to slot 0. And here I have my welcome program again. Okay, now what if you want to lead a program from the hub? What you need to do is that I'm going to turn it off. So it's like, okay. What, okay, so do open up a project. In this case, I'm going to open up my animation again. And you connect. See? Got it. Okay. So now what I have to do is that I click here. See? And now here I go to here where it says programs. Okay. And here you can see all the programs you have. See? Here it says on zero. Welcome to Circuit Coder Animation, which is the animation I just showed you, the one on the start of the video, and the memory game. So, well, here it gives you some information. For example, here it says the size, the date modified, the date created. They were both created on the same day and modified on the same day. And here you can delete it on this little trash button. And these ones are to change slots. For example, here, you can see this slot. Okay, so what you do is, for example, I want to move memory game to slot here. What I do is that I drag, and I can even move it, I don't know, to slot four. And then it skips to slot four, okay? And now, see, it switched to slot four. Okay, I'm going to put it back to slot one, okay? So really, this is so easy. And for example, if you have like 10 programs and you want to show them to your friends, you can just save them, put them in the order you want here. And then when you access your hub, you just simply select the program you want, okay? So as you saw, this is so easy. And well, really, this is all for this video. And I will see you on the next video. Goodbye.